What's up, guys? This is Jay with Prepared Citizens. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so we got like 24 hours or less than 24 hours till the hurricane hits. This video is specifically to quickly program a repeater into your radio, your UV 5R specifically. <clears throat> guys, there are so many similarities to other radios in these. So this video will be relevant. Like for instance, if you got the TID radio, the TDH3, um, just the menu numbers, some of them are different, but the, the process is exactly the same. So let's go over getting this done, okay? First things you wanna do, we're gonna start. So if you can see here, on the right side of the screen where the numbers are and they go away and you press the orange button up there this is this is changing you between channel mode and frequency mode channel mode is when you see the little numbers we don't want to see the little numbers so we want to make sure those are gone second thing the little triangle out to the side if you mash this mash this blue button it's going to move that triangle up and down. We want to be on the top one, okay? This is where you're going to program channels and things like that on the top one. So once we get the radio there, there's a few steps we're going to do. Um, and once you get to this point, go ahead and take a tactical pause. Get on your phone and download uh, two apps. One is Repeater Book. The other app is MyGMRS, okay? Download both of those apps. What those apps do is tell you about ham and GMRS repeaters closest to you. So when you click the repeater book app, actually it works with either one, but when you click repeater book, as long as you have your location enabled on that, it's going to just throw out a list of repeaters that is closest to you, starting with the closest, going to the other swarms um here's just my little notes here but we're going to mock um i found this one this is actually a gmrs repeater in orlando um we're going to mock program that together okay you see these numbers um it's listed just like this from the top and then this one over here would actually be below here but we're going to program these together okay or this repeater um now I got our menus, I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm literally gonna say this step by step if you just wanna follow along. So um, step one, we've already got our radio into frequency mode, which is where we wanna be because now that allows us to input whatever we want. Channels are pre-programmed, uh, pre-selected. You can't modify those, okay? On the frequency mode, you're going to modify whatever you want. And then at the, when we get done with this, when we get done inputting everything, then I'm going to show you what menu number to go to to save it. Okay. So, so now we're here. Um, and we got two numbers up here. We got these two numbers. Okay. Well, we're going to put the top one in. All right. And in this case... Um, it's going to be 462.6500 and just type it in 462.6500. Okay. It's going to look like that. It's going to look like that. Um, I'm sorry about the camera. I don't have like a super professional setup. I just want to. Uh, get you guys going on this. I, I know there's probably a lot better in-depth videos on this, but I hope for anybody that watches my channel that may not know this, um, and you have a hurricane headed your way. Um, so yes, in, in other cases, follow the FCC stuff as well, but this is an emergency, okay? And this thing may literally be used to locate you or a loved one. So take it easy guys all right so we got our frequency input all right so now let's look on down at what these other numbers are so here 
this is going to be um, the frequencies at which that repeater is going to talk, okay? So, and then down here, you'll see a plus 5.0. This one's important. You don't really have to worry about this other one. Don't worry about that one right now. It'll make sense in a second. So right now, we're going to put in that plus 5.0. So first off, we need to go to menu option number 25. So you can either, when you hit menu, menu's right below your blue button. When you hit it, you can either hit the arrows and just scroll till you find menu 25, or you can just type 25, okay? And then it's gonna say this, what that is saying is a offset direction. Hit menu again, and now you can hit your arrows to a plus or minus. For this, we're gonna need a plus. Hit menu again, and that saves it, okay? The radio now has an offset direction. Next, we're gonna to go to menu number 26. All right, oh, yeah, and if you don't do anything for a while, the menu will go away. So I was not active. Okay, so now we're on menu number 26. You see it says offset, and it's got zeros. We're gonna input that 5.0. So in this case, to make it look right, we gotta hit zero, zero, five, zero, zero, zero. Okay, and it's gonna look like that. And then hit menu again, and that saved it. Okay, so now when you, and I'm just gonna show you, don't freak out people, but you see the number four, six, uh, let me just make sure it's lit up for you. The four, six, two, what is it, six, five, okay. And when you hit the transmit, that offset, see how that, that two changed to a seven? Okay, that's what that's doing. So that's why we didn't worry about that bottom number. Okay, so that's why the offset's there. This is, now you can talk to that repeater. All right, so next. There's this FM 186.2 Hertz. What the heck is that? Okay. So sometimes you will see two of these. That means there's a transmit and a receive tone. This is a tone, by the way. A tone is just a, it's a sound within the frequency that lets that specific repeater know it's like, okay, um, you know, this radio is talking to me. That's a lot better dudes can go into detail on that, but we're doing a quick down and dirty, so that's what we got. All right, so to put that in, we are now going to go to menu number 11. All right, menu number 11 says RCTCS, okay? I don't remember exactly what that stands for, but what this is, is a receive tone. Oh, it went away. So once you get to that, hit menu. And you can either, again, scroll through all the numbers until you get there. Or I think you can just type in. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Where was it? One. Okay. Yep. And then hit menu once you're done but you can type that in as well, or you can just scroll up to it. So 186.2 Hertz. Now we have the entire repeater ready to go. You can actually talk to it right now. It's in this first line up here. Okay, it's, it's ready to go. So now when you hit this button, you will get something back, whether it's just a like a or it could be a Morse code, or it could even be a, um, a automated voice telling you about the repeaters. Sometimes that's a pretty new one. I've seen a lot lately. So you can actually talk to it now, but before we get ahead of ourselves, we want to save this, okay? Now, doing this by hand, the way we're doing it, I can't like input a channel name to give it nicknames and stuff. You have to use a programming software to do that. And I totally understand if you don't want to mess with that 
but you at least need to write this down. Whatever channel you save this to, get you some notebook paper and say whatever channel you save this on, um, write down which one it is that you looked at in the app, okay? So, and it'll tell you in the app, like, its location and stuff. I just didn't want to put all that out there. That's kind of for the, excuse me, app user's uh, reference. So, to save this channel, we're going to go to menu. I think it's number 27. Yep, 27. Okay, and you're going to hit menu again. And then you can scroll. See how it says CH? I got a bunch of channels in here. But you scroll until you don't see the CH. All my radios got a bunch. Oh, there's one. Okay. When you don't see the CH, you hit menu again. That's going to save that channel, all the settings you just input. To that channel okay and that's when you write it down all your information that way you can keep up with it so that's how you quickly program a repeater into your radio and a couple more things to note um, once you do that you need to go back in and erase all these settings we just changed put them back to you know take your offsets off and all that stuff get it back to normal so that way, when you start this process over, you don't accidentally leave something in here. It messes you up for the next time, okay? Um, so that's a, a good thing to remember. Um, while we're talking about this is for uh, locating yourself, personnel, loved ones, in this uh, rough thing we got going on, the hurricane stuff. So I want to throw out a couple more things. Here's some simplex channels. And, th and when I say simplex, all that means is you're not going to have to put in offsets. You're not going to have to put in tones. You just punch the channel into that frequency, and then you save it. That's all you do, okay? And there's, you save channels, obviously, from the frequency mode. Once you have some channels saved up, then you can go to the channel mode. You can swap back to channel mode. And when you're flipping through, you're just going through what you saved. You're not having to input a bunch of stuff again. But anyway, the NOAA weather channels, put these in. Put in number one through seven. Okay, these are the NOAA weather channels. Anywhere in the United States, if you're literally about anywhere in the United States, your radio can pick up one of those. Okay, you got to, you got to, flip through them and see which ones you can you can reach you can listen to but what that does is give you weather updates um i'll let you guys listen to it and guys i'm in a basement service it's horrible especially for a radio but i think i can still get near latitude 23.0 north and launch there you go you can listen to this and any kind of emergency broadcasting is going to come through that, okay? So you want to be able to listen to that. Um, what else? Battery banks. If you got battery banks, charge them. If you got computers, charge them. You can use your laptop computer as a battery bank, okay? If you don't have a battery bank, you got a laptop, use what you got, okay? Um, if you got a TID radio... I was just going to say real quick, literally, the process is exactly the same. Um, the only bad thing about these, you're either on GMRS or the um, ham channel. So, uh, just be sure of that. I, you may can listen to everything. I'm not sure. I've never, I've literally just used this one as a GMRS radio. That's all I've used it as. Um, I've not taken it quite as far through testing as I have my other stuff. But uh, even the menu options are dang near the same. What is it? The, yeah. So instead of menu, like for offset, the, uh, 
menu instead of 25 like on uv5r it's 23 and uh for the offset number it's going to be number 24 instead of 26 and the the actual the tone the receive ctcs tone is actually the same on channel 11. like i said a lot of these radios even the little bit fancier ones still run on the UV5R like framework. So, um, all right guys, I guess that's all I got for you. Um, yeah, and, and, and as far as like waterproofing, as long as you don't take a bubble bath in it, these things hold up pretty well. I've actually had this one, which is the same thing. They're both UV5R. I just did some antenna stuff on this one. I've had this one soaked, like soaked. It didn't get submerged. It was completely drenched. Well, several times it's been completely drenched. And it still works just fine. With my little stubby, little stubby antenna. Technically, that antenna shouldn't even be picking up in here, but it does. So, that's cool. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to quit rambling. I hope this helps. Please uh, get your radios programmed. Be ready for tomorrow. Uh, God bless every one of you that's in the way of this thing. Um, depending on how things go, I may be uh, coming to help some folks out. Me and a friend of mine have family and whatnot down there. And um, yeah, hope everything goes, hope everybody makes it through this okay. I hope that thing calms down before it makes landfall. That would be nice. But um, always, I, I've always liked the saying, prepare for the worst hope for the best that way should be squared away <clears throat> no matter what happens and uh yeah guys that's it for me um get these things programmed be an asset to those around you and um yeah don't be a liability and uh god be with you guys uh if anybody needs anything reach out to me through the website uh email whatever you got even if it's questions on these check out radio made easy super awesome dude he's been doing a lot of good work in north carolina uh been saving a bunch of people's hides and locating people with these right here so that they, they'll get it done it'll do if you'll do so all right guys take care god bless see you on the next one